Rural Heritage on RFD TV is brought to you by Rural Heritage Magazine, a bi monthly magazine featuring articles about farming and logging with draft animal power, small scale diversified family farming and homesteading, and other aspects of our rich rural heritage. Rural Heritage Magazine, borrowing from yesterday to do the work of today. For subscription information, please call 319 362 3027 or order online at www.ruralheritage.com. On an average day, we are traveling 12 to 15 miles. We like easy days if we can. Um, in the morning, it's up anywhere from five to six. There was frost on the ground yesterday morning. And you get their horses ready to ride and teams, hitch them up. Then we move the support vehicles, the horse trailers, the housing, the camper trailers, the motor homes, we move those to the next night spot and when we have buses contracted school buses in this situation they belong to a kids summer youth camp and they uh, they bus the people back to their horses and then we take off and ride sometimes it takes two to three hours to get that ready but um, by nine to ten o'clock we're ready to ride and then we ride through the day we have a morning stop usually about three miles from where we start because you can go about three miles an hour and by that time everybody is ready to um, relieve themselves of, of some coffee. So we have porta potties that follow along. In this situation we had eight porta potties to service 250 people, work well. And then uh, we have a noon stop, we break along the road or maybe a meadow and we have a little lunch, it's a cold lunch. Nobody provides it, you just serve yourself. And then um, we travel to the next night stop, we usually get there between three and four. And this year we did something different. We provided caterers and factored that into the application. And after that, um, after they get in and get their horses watered, then we eat. And such as it is, when you don't eat breakfast and lunch, you're really hungry. The caterers last night said they ran out of food and they shared that that's the first time ever they ran out of food.
my goal in this whole thing is to, uh, by the week's end, I want to see a family. And sometimes that takes some hard, some hard issues. We grow together in good times, but we grow more in hard times. And I think I can say that this week we've accomplished. We started publishing the Draft Horse Wall Calendar 40 years ago. It quickly became a holiday tradition for families to give and receive our calendars. Many tell us it wouldn't be Christmas if there wasn't a Draft Horse Calendar under the tree. We've always found the best, most interesting photos showing a variety of Draft Horse breeds put to a wide range of tasks from threshing oats, making hay, logging hardwood and performing before appreciative crowds. This year is no different and the quality hasn't changed either. They cost $16.95 each, postage paid, and prices go down as you buy more. Give us your gift list and we can send them on your behalf. Visit www.ruralheritage.com to order or call toll free 877-647-2452. That's ruralheritage.com or 877-647-2452. Right now you're at the Black Fox Ranch in uh, rural Black Hills of South Dakota. In fact, really rural. Our closest neighbor is six miles and we're completely surrounded by a national forest. We've got about 125 acres here with a log home up above here. And uh, we bought it about 13 years ago as just a beautiful getaway and a gift from the good Lord. As you all understand, because you're part of this world, is a getaway and it's a place to come back and enjoy the true values that have made this country great. People who were pioneers enough to come through in wagon trains that maybe didn't have rubber tires, maybe didn't have guys going ahead of them placing water, but had the fortitude, had the heart, had the vision for this country that like no other country has ever had before. But that's why America is great, was great, and always will be great is because of folks just like you. So we could not be more proud on behalf of Terry, our entire family. There's the fourth generation of Brocks in their Cargans, but they are up there bearing grace. And we're glad to have you here and honored that you are here. And we hope that your stay is as enjoyable as it's been for us having you here. Thank you. Old Jimmy Rogers cowboy song, complete with a little yodeling. Well, the cattle drop and the coyotes howl out on that great divide. Never done no wrong, just singing a song down the trail I ride. Rattlesnakes rattle at the prairie dog, come sing their moan of doom. It's round up time.
like the sunny days the best out on the western plains some of the boys And there were a whole bunch of good wagons. We're going to give this award to one of our local people. And I, I don't know, I just know the one name. I'll just say it, the last name. The Klein Outfit. Come and get it, Klein. Where are you, Klein? Now we're going to give two more and then we're going to quit for a little while. We're going to give our best watchdog slash veterinarian the best outrider award. What's his name? <laughs> Matt Colts. Come forward, Matt. He deserves more than an award. We should uh, we should clap a little harder for him. Let's give him another hand. And then we're going to have a female best outrider. Her name is Gloria Rosencrantz. <laughs> And you're operating here at Karsten's Cottages? Karsten Cottages, yes. And that's an RV park and cottages? RV park, cottages, tenting, stuff like that, yeah. And you must do banquets and stuff, catering? Oh yeah, we do a lot of catering. Uh, we have Karsten Cottage catering also. And then, uh, and then we also have a uh, place in town called Ponderosa Pines Inn and Cabins. Okay. That has a motel and also cabins there. Typical customer, I would say we're probably 50-50, we get a lot of people off of the Mickelson Trail that are passing through, and they don't run to ride the whole leg, so they ride one section and they stay here and then take off the next day. You know, uh, we get a lot of motorcyclists out here, and we get a lot of people just looking to get away. You it's know, because it's nice and quiet. Snowmobilers, deer hunters. hunters, elk hunters, turkey hunters. You know, in the wintertime, we get a lot of them too. It's a lot of work. But it's a hard. We but enjoy we, enjoy we enjoy it. it. We enjoy yeah. it because you meet so many neat people from, we have five guest books over there that are completely full from people around the world. You know, we've had uh, races here, 
Um, just up the road was a Rogaine race a few years back, and that involved 27 countries. You know, just like this event tonight, you know, it was 22 states plus Canada. You know, so it's kind of cool. You know, you get to meet a lot of neat people. Walking around your place here, you can't walk two feet without seeing a personal touch that you guys have done here. I mean, <laughs> Thank you. It's really cool. It really <laughs> Thank is. you. Thanks. A lot of work. Yeah. A lot yeah. of work, but we love it. It is a lot of work because you can't you can't go on vacation much yourself, probably. Right. Right. You know. Last and, year we got the fifth wheel from our lot yep. to our spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we moved it from the garage to one of our RV spots. That was the big trip last year. Yes. <laughs> but you know, you got to stay on top of it. It is what it, it is. What you bake it. You know, if you, if you enjoy, enjoy what you do, you never work a day in your life. Right, you're on vacation all the time. Yep. Yeah, yep. My too. yep. And people come to us for vacation. So we want to make sure that things are right for them. And you obviously knew what you were getting into with this group here because you've done it before. Yep, we did we, it three, uh, years, three ago. years ago. Uh -huh. 2015, it was the Sydney, Nebraska to Deadwood Wagon training at that time. And this is the Cheyenne, Wyoming to Deadwood Wagon training. You Who know. taught you to grill? <laughs> I did. Did you? Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Are you the cook or do you both share I'm that? Or? She, she does all the other stuff and I do okay. the meats. All you know, right. so. Give me but, the kitchen 24 7 and yeah, I'm happy. She's, she's in the kitchen all the time. <laughs> That's what I said. Just don't leave me in it. <laughs> no. No, can't do that. You had a great selection. Um, yeah. I liked all the vegetables. That was awesome. Yeah. I think after a while people get a little bit. Anxious for vegetables. You know, no, the, oh, definitely. And a prime mm -hmm. rib, I kind of got started on that by accident because uh, first year out, I actually had two hogs lined up for the rally barbecue. My bookkeeper at the time went over to pick them up and somebody sold them to somebody else, so I had her beat feet over to Sturgis to grab some prime rib because we we're feeding these guys no matter what. And so she did, and that's how the prime rib thing got started. And now we've been doing a prime rib cookout for about 16 years. You know, so it's a pretty good event, and I really enjoy it. Great. I think half the battle is buying good meat. Yeah, absolutely. you got to take care of it. Absolutely. Oh, definitely. you got to babysit it the whole time. Yep, yep. We're You're over there babysitting that. it all day long. You can come to Carson Cottages and see us at Ponderosa Pines. Team effort. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we got this. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank right. you. Really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Okay, is it our turn? Are we supposed to go now? <laughs> well, we are Buffalo Grass, and we hail from around the Rapid City, South Dakota area. So fun to see all you guys out here. One, two, one, two, three. I want a 10 gallon stack of sunny, and a horse that bears my brain. Thousand head of cattle on a great big piece of land. I want a ranch in Arizona where they never sleep inside. I want to gaze at the moon and stars above. I want to learn to rope and ride. I want a big pearl and a pistol, kind that really shoot. Saddle trimmed with silver and a pair of snakeskin boots. Well, I'll have my name carved on my belt. Line my saddle seat the belt. Gonna be a cowboy.
There's old song says, give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. Well, I think what we, in this situation, this week, we could have certainly utilized 50 acres each night. And that's not an exaggeration. 50 acres would be about right. Well, certainly this week, this whole, this whole preparation and this week, um, we've seen the Lord very much at work. We, uh, <laughs> everything that was um, a, a hurdle or a roadblock, it turned out to be, it was not only in our favor, but it turned out to be something way better than we could have thought of ourselves. And yesterday I had, it was, setting was, we were ahead of the game and people were in line and I just gave out a big whistle and I said we're gonna do something we haven't done before and I said and I just asked for a prayer before the meeting and we prayed and when I got done people cheered um, and I think they were even people that weren't churchy I think they've seen that somebody's somebody's watching this thing um, and just to finish it I don't know maybe we're about done but to finish it up we uh, Certainly people ask us, are you going to do this next year? I want to come. And I said, well, wait till this week is over and I'll tell you. Because um, it's been, you know, it's been good, but yeah, I, uh, I've taken, one lady says, did you take a notch out of your belt? I said, nope, two. <laughs> you know, it's, it's been a stretch, yeah. but it's been good. Yeah. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of stress, but there's a lot of reward. It's a, it's a lot of press. I, I don't like to use the word stress. It's like it presses Press? you to okay. to, to go Pushes higher, you. to okay. go farther, and because okay. um, stress is just nothing but worry, right? You know, and and you can worry, but and here I am philosophizing, but um, I wish I could, uh, I wish I could have uh, thought of this, but it's it's in one of my favorite books, and it goes like this: if um, if you're not too large for the place you now occupy. You're too small for it, you know. Whether it's mentally, physically, spiritually, you know. When you go to get back to Iowa or back to Missouri, wherever you're at, if you need 20 gallons of gas, is that what you're going to take with you? No, you'll take more than 20. You all, we don't live life that way. So why why shouldn't we think ourselves that way? You know, you you need to be bigger. Live large. Live large. Live large. So. Um, anyway, I rattle on enough, Joe. Thank you. Oh, thank you. This program is available for purchase. To order your copy, please call 319-362-3027 or visit www.ruralheritage.com. Rural Heritage is a bi-monthly magazine dedicated to draft animal farming and logging as well as other aspects of our rich rural heritage. It is published by Mishka Press, which also offers a complete line of back-to-the-land books, DVDs, and calendars. Call or write for a catalog or subscription information. Or visit our website at www.ruralheritage.com.